Howdy everybody. It's a new day. It's a gorgeous day. Um, if you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California. This channel is mainly about my farming journey. Sometimes it's not. I farm with my dad and I planted my very first vineyard in April of 2018. Today, right now, I am heading over to our alfalfa field. We started spraying the other day, but then now we've had rain and wind. We had to let things dry. So we're gonna head back over there now, hopefully get things finished spraying. Um, I think we are spraying right now to kill some weeds in the alfalfa and also bugs. California is officially in shelter in place the entire state but there's a ton of groups that are exempt from that and agriculture being one so my life still has pretty much not changed i've only been to the grocery store one time kind of since everything started getting crazy so it will be interesting the next time i need to go to the grocery store but other than that we are chugging along There's Vicente driving our white tractor, pulling our water bubble. And they use that to mix, mix with all the spray we use. There's our alfalfa, looking beautiful. Our first cut should be in May. So we're still, I mean, maybe six weeks out, five or six weeks out from our first cutting. But it is looking gorgeous out there. Here's our white. A couple people asked what it was. It's a 2135 white tractor. We just use it as a utility tractor now. And they've got a little Honda four wheeler and PBM sprayer. Just a little bit bigger than my disc. Mine's, mine's just a little baby. Another beautiful day in the vineyard. I'm gonna take some boxes off. We tore my whole disc apart yesterday, um, but well, most of it, but there's nothing really I can do right now. I need to order parts for it. Um, so that's going to be kind of on hold. I am going to paint it. I don't know what color yet. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, I, I found the manual or the parts book online. So I'm going to get parts ordered for that. And then hopefully we'll get it put back together. And it'll be all nice and shiny and ready to go. Look at these roses my mom planted. If you can see... She always loves how the roses are in front of vineyards, so she wanted to do it, and they really took off. Look at this one. I like roses, but I think my favorite flowers are dahlias. All right, time to work a little bit. While I'm out in the field, I just want to give a quick shout out to Jimmy Warner. He is my most recent Farm Boss member on my channel. If you guys didn't know, I have a channel membership. It's, it's really just for anyone who wants to help support my channel. I mean, every single one of you watching this video, I know you support me. It's just a little extra help. I put the funds towards the farm, towards the chickens, um, just anything to help me out. Obviously, like, not something everyone wants to do, um, but I appreciate every single one of you that are members, and like I said, I give shout outs to my farm boss members, and I just want to say thank you to Jimmy Warner for becoming a member. It means so much to me. All right, back to work. Wow, wow. 
Got my tough guard dog. <laughs> it is Saturday right now. So I'm just gonna be taking care of the chickens, doing some stuff in the garden, I think. And I am gonna go to the farm and try to get some stuff done in the vineyard. Um, it's supposed to be like cloudy, but nice today. I think the weather's saying almost 70, so pretty nice. But it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get some stuff done outside and then maybe do housework tomorrow. So my rooster has been having a limp and we got his anti-inflammatory. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him half a pill every 12 hours for seven days and hopefully we'll see a huge improvement just like we did last time. Except this time, hopefully, after the big improvement, I will continue to give him half a pill probably once a day um, and see where that takes us. So if you're new here, that shouldn't have taken very long for you to figure out that I am a crazy chicken lady. Gotta let these girls out this morning. My other coops have an automatic door, so I don't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, there's no automatic door for this coop yet. Hi, pretty boy. Oh, I have a broody hen. I keep taking her out, but there she is. Well, she's all black, so you can't even see her. Hi, mamas. <laughs> so that's making me really want chicks, except I don't have anywhere to put chicks. It's okay, boy. We're gonna get you on your medicine, okay? And go put you in your bachelor pad. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to show you guys how to give a chicken a pill. Sometimes he does it super fast and easy and sometimes he fights me. So I'm sure since I'm recording it, he's not gonna make it easy on me. I think I probably need to clean his comb too. He got pecked by the hens last week and I cleaned it and put all this medicine on it, but looks like it might need to get cleaned again, huh, Bo? All right, you ready for your medicine? You ready for your medicine? It's gonna make you feel better. Huh, so normally what I do is I go over the top of his comb and I pinch the side of his mouth a little bit, just enough to get it open. Oh, see, just took it out. And then, there we go, he did it. That was a good boy. Give him a little massage for being a good boy, yeah. All right, you ready to go in your bachelor pad? He really is a good boy. Which is why he's not chicken soup. Right. This water here has a vitamin in it. That's why it's kind of brown colored. We got food. Okay. How much you want to bet Broody is in here? There might be some other laying eggs, but I bet. Bam. There she is. Excuse me, ma'am. Ooh. I know. You gonna go for it, mamas? Go for it, girl. Woo! Oh, look. Oh. Oh, you? You're not broody. You got up pretty fast. Oh, you gonna go for it too? Go for it, girl. Fly like the wind. <laughs> All right, broody mama. What I think I've decided is I'm going to try to break her for a week which pretty much means every time I find her on here, I take her off. Every night I put her on the roost and take her out of here. And I just do everything I can to try to break her from being broody. I'm gonna do it for a week. And if she's still broody after a week, I might get her chicks. I've only done chicks one other time and I had a broody um, like in I, so it was fall chicks so she was broody like in the super hot weather um i tried to break her for a month and i could not break her and when they're broody like they eat less they drink less like they are just waiting for their eggs to hatch and i mean i'm not going to say the only reason i got chicks was because i was worried about her i definitely wanted chicks but i was like a little worried like if she never has chicks how the heck do I break her? Cause I tried for a month. And so I, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. So this, she tried rolling the egg into the bigger. She just tried rolling this egg into the other one. See, they're getting broody for sure. 
But anyways, I got chicks because I was worried about her. And then once she had the chicks, she was like back to normal. So, oh man, I might have two broody. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I'm sorry, mamas. I can't, those are not fertilized. No, they're not fertilized. Mamas, there's no babies there. I can get you some babies. She's like avoiding me because I've got this open so she's not going all the way in. But I think that's okay. My dad found a wrench that fits the nut that came off my disc. So do you think someone, this is something that came from Ed's? I'm not sure. Did he give you tools? Yeah, one time he gave me some more stuff like that. Yeah, what that is, that's a track wrench probably for a... Track wrench. For internet. It's international. Someone asked me, which I think that I know the answer, but someone asked why we took the whole disc apart just to change the discs. But we weren't really, we really aren't just changing the discs, right? Well, I mean, we're doing so a lot of work stiff. to it. We're going to put new pins. New pins, and it's so small that it's just as easy. So small. My dad cleaned up where those poles were on, which we I showed in the last video, you cutting them off. What happened here? There was that flat piece of metal welded here. That angle iron was welded down here, and this was all bent. Oh. All right, so there's my disc so far. Everyone's very excited to see what color I'm going to paint it. Could start a poll of guessing what color. I think it's the right color. Some people think it should be blue. Some people think it should be pink. I think I paint it Dad wants it to be yellow. Only time will tell. And here's the discs taken apart. We're working on getting parts for it. See this bracket? See how it's got the two holes? Yeah. So. If you add the scraper and the bracket that goes with it, the bolts you don't need, two rights and two lefts, and then we need these two things. Okay. We can make these easy enough, I think. Okay. You know, Vicente and I could make these, or you and Vicente and I can weld them. You see, you have... You need to teach me how to weld. Yeah, I could. Because, see, you... I think... I need to be independent. Yeah. You know, Sally, uh, she took a welding class at a... I welded. I took a welding class in college. Oh. I made a camera. Oh. It's probably in a box somewhere. So like this one, we... Figuring out all the parts we need to make it like new. Uh, I could flip that piece of metal over and, you know, re-weld it back on. So in other words, what I'm getting at, they don't make a right and a left piece of metal. Yeah, it's just depending on what side you put the feet on. Yeah, right. So we can pretty much cut the handles off, cut I the feet off, and flip it. And I could, yeah. If this thing was real expensive, we just... Do Why don't it. we just do it anyways? <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, how much money is it going to cost to cut it and... Just time. But you get so unless they're, unless they're $10... See, like there they don't match. Hi, right? Grandma. Right? Thank you. Right there they don't match. Yep. But if I flip the piece of metal, they match. Right? That's right. You're pretty smart sometimes, Dad. The first disc I bought that my dad saw for sale and was just convinced that I had to have it. Huh, Dad? No, I didn't see it for sale. I saw it sitting there. He saw it sitting there and convinced the guy to sell it to me. So I bought it. And then he decided it was too big and bought a smaller one. Nice Can I sell this one? Oh, that's... Is that what you're thinking? Well... Maybe I can sell it. Probably not for a profit though. But if I could break even, that'd be cool. Well, one thing we haven't done anything to it, right? That's right. It's just sat here. Okay. We were just walking through the yard and see, saw that my mentor dropped off a piece of equipment for me. I didn't even know. So this is the berm sweep. We're gonna hook it up to my tractor and I'm gonna get out there. I literally didn't even know it was here. He must have brought it yesterday, but that's what I'm gonna use on the berms to try to get rid of some of those weeds. 
So we're gonna get that hooked up to my tractor and hopefully I can figure it out. Tractor time. I wonder if my keys are in here. Yes. Ugh. First thing we got to do is unhook the chopper. I'm excited to be driving tractor. Haven't gotten to drive tractor for a while. So some of the three point stuff is a little bound up. Um, my dad said probably from before when I got the tractor since I haven't had it that long. Um, so I'm gonna actually take it up to the shop, oil some things, see if we can get it loosened up and then come back, try to hook up to the berm sweep and hopefully I can get started on that today. Lady wants to go now. You wanna ride in the tractor, lady? My dad just made me aware that the step holes are so big that if her leg went through it, she could hurt herself. No, lady only comes to the farm maybe once every other week, so I guess I'll have to cover that up if I want to give her tractor rides. All right, back to work. Okay, just came home for lunch. Gonna check on the chickens. Should we take some bets if Broody is gonna be in the nest? What do we think? Ooh. Yes, no. Has she given up or is she still fighting on? What's up everybody? Is your sister being broody? This is a Jersey giant. I have four of them. Three are accounted for. All right. Let's see. And the verdict is, what are you doing in there? Hi, mamas. I know. We're going to try to break you for one week. If you can fight through a week, you'll get babies. Time to remove her. Welder. Is that welding rod though? Um, it's called settling rod. It's just this piece of steel. Gas welding, you said? Welding together a block washer to put on my tractor. Good job, Dad. I said, good job, Dad. So there's a washer right here that I'm missing. So my dad just made one out of a lock washer to put here. Maybe one day I'll get out with the berm sweep. Well, just got back home. Today did not go as planned. But what's new, right? Um, we pretty much spent the whole day working on my tractor, calibrating the berm sweep, and yeah. Didn't really get anything done. I think in the end I got like two or three rows done. <sighs> but it's okay. That's the life of farming. Anywho, hopefully I'll be back at it tomorrow if it's not raining. So I'm going to collect eggs. I've already collected um, from this morning and at lunchtime to try to stop the broody. So we are going in for our third time to see if the broody is back in the nest. All right, let's see. What will it be? She's been removed twice today. Will it be a third? Bam! <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. I know you're such a tough mommy. Are you on any eggs? 
Or are you sitting on nothing? Nope, nope, there's eggs in there. All right, we're gonna remove her again. Well, that's a bummer. Excuse the poo, I'll clean this weekend. Broke two broken eggs today. I feel like this one's gonna hold strong. We'll see, I'm gonna give her a week. So next weekend I might be going to get chicks. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share my channel if you're enjoying it. All the things make me happy. And tomorrow we'll be back for hopefully berm sweeping.